if our normal shoulder range of motion spanning from internal to external rotation is 180 degrees, that might be skewed 20 to 30 degrees toward external rotation on a thrower's shoulder. So while we, while we could maybe classify that as, as GERD or a glenohumeral internal rotation deficit, if it's a total shift in range of motion in both the internal and external rotation planes, if you will, there's not really a deficit in, ra in range of motion there. And trying to push more internal rotation and expand the envelope beyond 180 may not be favorable. So uh, important to consider that skewed external rotation, that humeral retro torsion that athletes can develop from a, a childhood and adolescence of throwing. And it's also important to really learn how to measure that.